now we will start relative x path relative x path and we have few approaches so we'll discuss those approaches so one is with an attribute an attribute value so here we are in this button and this is the login button and here in the login button you can see we have attributes called id we have and we have uh, we have name we have uh, tab index we have type so all this we have so these are all the pink ones are called as uh, the tag name and we have an attribute which is red color and attribute value is in blue color right so i'm using this button here so i can use the button so to find this path relative path i will use the button here and then followed by the attribute whichever attribute that you like or that you most prefer to like generally people try to use id so i will use the id so id equal to login button right and here is the login button i think it did. right so it is identifying one of one now and another way is you can use a two attributes at a time so i have used one attribute here i can use one more attribute so we are here we have a name right so i can use this name name equals to login so i can use two attributes at a time so this is another way of writing x path so here it is showing the uh, the best way but you have to uh, try or uh, different ways or sometimes what happen a uh, one of one will not be an uh, always so there might be a chance of getting one of two two of three so likewise you will get so such ways cases you can use this multiple cases so i will copy this and come back here so this is the one path and we have so this is the one way 